जय गुरुदेव मृणाल जी विच नंबर आई कैन मेक यू होस्ट माय डियर को होस्ट मृणाल ओके आई एम डूइंग म्यूट ऑल बट स्टिल द पीपल दैट अलाउ पार्टिसिपेंट टू अनम्यूट दम आई शुड कंटिन्यू राइट yeah because people would like to ask questions now yeah no but i i have to inform today the, the like sometimes it is not uh... yeah yeah see but i mean not I mean... people people might do it uh, by mistake you know sometimes yeah. they are moving around with mobile so yeah. it gets yeah, yeah. uh Sorry. we can ask whoever you are going to make co-host maybe they they can be little vigilant and they hmm. can quickly do it yeah actually i am learning slowly slowly now yeah. first i was just sharing the screen the same mobile i was hosting so i was unable to see only no no <laughs> now i realize because i can't can... see you no so i have learned that from yesterday i am making a co host from other phone correct <laughs> so such a common sense but it did not strike at all no 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 unless you do two three times it doesn't uh, yeah even i am learning this i mean uh, it's a good opportunity to learn things you know correct correct otherwise we would not learn unless there is a necessity i don't think we will want to learn just for the heck of it <laughs> because it is necessary we are learning now <laughs> yes <laughs> necessity is a mother of invention <laughs> so <laughs> so tomorrow i uh, i may not be able to share but um, hmm. i will share it on the um, what you call in the group so that whoever is available they can share it isn't it do you want yeah. to do that or should i share it with you only we can do both uh, mrinal ji because okay. sunday again i go for long kriya no i for nana ji session definitely i have committed so i will do it but uh, yeah. for uh, manana session someone yeah. else can take over on sunday because i'll yeah. be going for long yeah. kriya no to the center okay i'll try and do it today the copy paste if not possible after, uh, uh, to uh, tomorrow's i have copy pasted but i haven't done for 13 14 15 yet to do i'll do it once i be finish the uh, this class and post it immediately that will be wonderful uh, yeah because tomorrow since tomorrow we are traveling a little busy once you get uh, into <laughs> work you tend to forget correct correct no problem you can just post as it is no ha huh, that plus one yeah. more thing i would like to tell you that uh, okay nana ji ji hari om nana ji hari om everybody hari om <clears throat> how are you nana ji very fine thank you so much <laughs> abhi jo everybody at home everybody is fine with the blessings of elders and you don nana ji <laughs> nana ji i will be traveling to hyderabad tomorrow oh oh when uh, if you were there i would have definitely come and met with you <laughs> how long you will be there i will be there for a week or so oh i see okay yeah. okay have a nice time yeah thank you so much bon voyage you are presently where now uh, bahrain nana ji Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We right. did one session in our house, Nana Ji, if you remember. Okay. In uh, Barin, in my place, I think we did the uh, fifteenth chapter or so. Okay. Last time when you had come. Hmm. Hello, Nana Ji. Hari Om. Our Manana sessions are going so well, Nana Ji, but we need your guidance. Uh, like we feel. so much uh, involved in the manana uh, that mm-hmm. we want to continue 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 but uh, as good. you know we are all having some responsibility but how mm-hmm. do we maintain the same um, uh, uh, encouragement and uh, the same motivation throughout the day nana ji manana is very good very good 
say manana will take care of your doubts which you have, may have picked up while reading or while listening those doubts will be taken care manana is important only thing is manana should not encourage very very funny subjects that's it it must conform to the subject chosen on hand then it will be beautiful okay noted <clears throat> all yeah once you are uh, the time starts you can start nana ji okay the thing yeah, is that yeah i, I just two more there are two more minutes i'm just waiting let others also yes. come no problem no problem nana ji i would like to just request because people are asking for recording the meetings are being recorded but only dr brahmara will be able to retrieve it so i kindly apologize for uh, not responding to the request of uh, sir, zoom recordings if but they the are Brahm being recorded yeah what brahmara said is in youtube she will after she gets back she will uh, uh, record transfer the record otherwise it will be recorded elsewhere that's what she said yes nana ji yes okay. it is being recorded because i have not uh, turned off the knob uh, okay. ever since she has uh, gone i have okay. i have continued to keep it on only okay now you have muted everybody else i'll start yes nana ji all are muted okay ब्रह्मानंदम परम सुखद केवल ज्ञानमूर्ति द्वंद्वातीत गगन सदृश तत्वश्यादिलक्ष्यम विमलमचल सर्वधी साक्षिभूत भावातीत त्रिगुणरहित सद्गु तम नमा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुरा आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोम देवी सरस्वती चो जय मुदीर ये अथ श्रीमद्भगवद्गीता अथ एकादशोध्याय विश्वदर्शन योग अर्जुन उवाच मदनुग्रहाय परम गुह्यमध्यात्म संगीत योक्त वचस्तेना मोहोय विगत मम भवाप्यय हि भूता श्रुत विस्तर सोमयाम चाव्यय आत्मा परमेशरा द्रष्टुम्छा ते रूप ऐश्वर पुषोत्तम मनसे यदि तेक्यम मैया द्रष्टुमी प्रभो योगेशर तथो मे धर्षयात्मा व्यय 
श्री भगवाच पश्य मे पाथ रूपा शतसोध सहस्रश नाना विधा दिव्या नाना वर्णाकृति पश्यान्वसो रुद्रा अश्विनो मरुत बहून्यदृष्टपूर्वा पश्चाश्चर्या भारत इहैकस्तम जगत्कृष्ण पश्चाद्य सचराचर मम देहे गुडाकेश इच्छान्यद्रष्टुमिच्छसी न तो मं शिक्ष्य से द्रष्टु अन स्वचक्षुषा दिव्य ददा ते चक्षु पश्य मे योगमश्वर संजय उवाच एवं महायोगेश्वरो हरि दर्शया मसपाध्या परम रूपमश्वर अनेक वक्त्र नयन अनेकाभुतदर्शन अनेक दिव्याभरण दिव्यानेकोद्यताुध दिव्यमल्यांबरधर दिव्यगंधानुलेपनम सर्वाश्चर्यम देव अनंत विश्व मुखम दिवि सूर्य सहस्रश भवेदुगपदुत्थिता यदि भासदृशी सात भासस्त महात्म तत्रकस्त जगत्कृष्ण प्रविभक्तमनेकश्यदेव शरीर पांडवस्तथा तत स विस्मयाविष्टो पृष्ठरो मधनजय प्रणम्य शिसा दृतांजलिभाषता अर्जुन उवाच पश्या देवांस्तव देवेहे सर्वांस्तथा भूत विशेष संघा ब्रह्मीशं कमलासनस्थ ऋषि सर्वान्गांश दिव्या अनेक बाहूदर वक्ने पश्यानूपम ना न मध्यम न पुनस्तवादी पश्या विश्व विश्व किटीन गदीन चिक्रीण तेजो राशि सर्वीप्तिमत पश्या दुर्निरीक्ष सामता दीप्तालर्कद्युतिम्रमेय क्षर परम वेदिव्यम से विश्व परम निधान व्यय शाश्वत धर्म गोप्ता सनातन स्व पुषो मत मे अनामध्यामनवीर अनंत बाहु शिशि सूर्य नेत्र पश्या दीप्तहुताश वक्त स्वतेजसा विश्वद तपंत ज्यावा पृथिव्योरिदमंतरम हि व्याप्त दिशर्वा दृष्ट्वाभुत रूप मुग्रम तवेद लोकत्रय प्रव्यधि महात्म अमीहि सुरसंघाशंति केचिदीता प्राजलो गृणंते स्वस्ति चुक्वा महर्षि सिद्धसंघा स्थुवि स्तुति पुष्कला रुद्रादीचावसवो ये चाध्या विश्वनो मरुत गंधर्वयक्षासुर सिद्ध संघा वीक्षते विस्मता महत्ते बहुवक्त्र नेत्र महाबा बहुबाद बहुदर बहुदाकाल दृष्ट्वा लोका प्रव्यधिताहम नभस्पृशम दीप्तमनेकर्णम व्यानम दीप्त विशाल नेत्र दृष्ट्वा हि ता प्रव्यधितांतरात्मा धुति न विंदा मिशमच विष्णु 
दाकरालाचते मुखा दृष्टलाशो न जाने नलभे च शर्मा प्रसीद देश जगन्निवास अमी चम धुतराष्ट्र पुत्र सर्वे सहैवावनी पाल भीष्मोद्रोणसूतपुत्रस्तौ सहास्मदीयद मुख्य वक्त तेरमाशंति दौष्ट्राकला भयानका केचिद्विलग्ना दशनाषु संदृश्य चूर्णित यदीना बहवोंबुबेका समुद्रमेवाभिमुखा द्रवंते तथा तवामी नरलोकवीरा विशंति वक्ण्यज्वल यथा प्रदीप्त ज्वलन पतंगा विशंति नाशा समृद्ध वेगा तथा नाशा विशंति लोका तवा वक्ण समृद्ध वेगा लेलिष्यसे ग्रसमान सामता लोकान समग्रान वदल ज्वल तेजोभिरापूर्य जगत समग्रम भाषस्तवग्रा प्रतपंति विष्णु आख्या मेको भवानुग्रूपो नमोस्तु ते देवर प्रसीद विज्ञाछा भवतम नि प्रजा तव प्रवृत्ति श्री भगवाच कालोस्मोक क्षय कृत् प्रवृद्ध लोकान सहत्मी प्रवृत्त ऋते न भविष्य सर्वे ये स्थिता प्रत्यनीकु योधा तस्मात्थिष्ट यशो लभस्व जिवा शत्रून भूक्ष्वराज्यम समृद्ध मयते निहता पूर्वमे निमितव्यसाचिन् द्रोणंच भीष्मंच जयद्रथं च कर्णं तधान पीयोधवीरा मया हता जिमाधिष्टा युद्धस्वेता शिणे सपत्ना संजय बुवाच एक श्रुवा वचन केशव से कृतांजलिपमन किटी नमस्कृत भूय एवाह कृष्ण सगद्गदम भीत भीत प्रणम्य अर्जुन बुवाच स्थाने हृषिकेश तव प्रकर्तिया जगत प्रहृष्यज्जनुरज्य रक्षा सिता दिशोद्रवंते सर्वे नमस्त सिद्ध संघा कस्माचते नन मेरन महात्म गरीय से ब्रह्मणोप्याधिके अनंतेश जगन्निवास तमक्षर सदस तत्पर यदिदेव पुष पुराण विश्व परम निधान वेत्ता वेद्यम च परम च धाम तया विश्वन वायुर्यमोग्ने वरुण शशाक प्रजापतिस्व प्रमश्च नमो नमस्ते स्तु सहस्रकृत्व पुनश्च भूयोपि नमो नमस्ते नम पुस्ताध पृष्ठतस्ते नमोस्तु ते सर्वत अनंतवीर्यामित विक्रमस्व सर्व सोषि तोषि सर्व सखेति मवा प्रसभम यदुक्त हे कृष्ण हे यादव हे सखेति अजानता महिमान तेद मया प्रमादा प्रणय न वापी इच्छा वह साधम सत्सी विहार शय्या सन भोजनेशु एको धवाप्यच्युत क्षम क्षम तत्मे ताेय पिता से लोक चराचर 
ಸ್ವಮಸ್ಯ ಪೂಜ್ಯಸ್ಯ ಗುರುರ್ಗರೀಯಾನ್ ನತ್ವತ್ಸಮೋತ್ಸತ್ಯಧಿಕ ಪುತೋನ್ಯ ಲೋಕತ್ರಯೇಪಿ ಅಪ್ರತಿಮ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ರಣಮ್ಯ ಪ್ರಣಿಧಾಯ ಕಾಯ ಪ್ರಸಾದೀಷಮೀಢ್ಯಂ ಪಿತೇವ ಪುತ್ರ ಸಖೇವ ಸಖ್ಯು ಪ್ರಿಯ ಪ್ರಿಯಾರ್ಹಸಿ ದೇವಸೋಢುಂ ಅದೃಷ್ಟಪೂರ್ವ ಭೃಷಿತೋಸ್ಮಿ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಭಯನ ಚ ಪ್ರವ್ಯಧಿ ತಂ ಮನೋ ಮೇ ತದೇವ ಮೇ ದರ್ಶಯ ದೇವ ರೂಪ ಪ್ರಸೀದ ದೇವೇಶ ಜಗನ್ ನಿವಾಸ ಕಿರೀಟಿ ನಂ ಗದಿ ನಂ ಚಕ್ರಹಸ್ತ ಇಚ್ಛಾಮಿ ತ್ವಂ ದ್ರಷ್ಟುಮಹಂ ತೈವ ತೇನೈವ ರೂಪೇಣ ಚತುರ್ಭುಜೇನ ಸಹಸ್ರಬಾಹೋ ಭವ ವಿಶ್ವಮೂರ್ತೆ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನುವಾಚ ಮಯ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನೇನ ತವಾಜುನೇದ ರೂಪಂ ಪರಂ ದರ್ಶಿತಮಾತ್ಮಯೋಗಾತ್ ತೇಜೋ ಮಯಂ ವಿಶ್ವಮನಂತ ಮಾಧ್ಯಂ ಎನ್ಮೇ ತ್ವದನ್ಯೇನ ನ ದೃಷ್ಟಪೂರ್ವ ನ ವೇದ ಯಜ್ಞಾಧ್ಯಯ ನೈನ ದಾನೈ ನ ಚ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಭೇರ್ನ ತಪೋಭಿರುಗ್ರೈ ಅಹಂಡು ಲೋಕೆ ದ್ರಷ್ಟು ತ್ವದನ್ಯೇನ ಕುರು ಪ್ರವೀರ ಮಾತೆ ವ್ಯಧಾ ಮಾ ಚ ವಿಮೂಢ ಭಾವ ದೃಷ್ಟ ರೂಪಂ ಘೋರ ಮೇ ದೃಮ್ಮ ಮೇದಂ ವಿಪೇತೀ ಪ್ರೀತಮನಾ ಪುನಸ್ತ್ವ ತದೇವ ಮೇ ರೂಪಮಿದ ಪ್ರಪಶ್ಯ ಸಂಜಯ ಉಚ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಜುನ ವಾಸುದೇವಸ್ತೋಕ್ತ್ವ ಸ್ವಕಂ ರೂಪಂ ದರ್ಶಯ ಮಾಸ ಭೂಯ ಆಶ್ವಾಸಯ ಮಾಸ ಚ ಭೀತಮೇನ ಭೂತ್ ಪುನಃ ಸೌಮ್ಯವ ಪುಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಉಚ ದೃಷ್ಟೇದ ಮಾನುಷಂ ರೂಪಂ ತವ ಸೌಮ್ಯಂ ಜನಾರ್ದನ ಇದೀಮಸ್ಮಿ ಸಂವೃತ್ತ ಸಚೇತ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಗತೀ ಭಗವಾನುವಾಚ ಸುದುರ್ದರ್ಶಮಿದ ರೂಪಂ ದೃಷ್ಟವಾನಸಿ ಯನ್ಮ ದೇವಾ ಅಪ್ಯಸ್ಯ ರೂಪಸ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ದರ್ಶನ ಕಾಂಕ್ಷಿಣ ನಾಹಂ ವೇದೈರ್ನ ತಪಸ ನ ದಾನೇನ ನ ಛೇಜಯ ಶಕ್ಯಂ ವಿಧೋ ದ್ರಷ್ಟು ದೃಷ್ಟವಾನಸಿ ಮಾನ್ಯಥ ಭಕ್ತ್ಯ ತ್ವನನ್ಯ ಶಕ್ಯ ಅಹಂ ಏವಂ ವಿಧೋರ್ಜುನ ಜ್ಞಾತು ದ್ರಷ್ಟು ಚ ತತ್ವೇನ ಪ್ರವೇಷ್ಟು ಚ ಪರಂತಪ ಕರ್ಮ ಕೃನ್ ಮತ್ ಪರಮ ಮದ್ಭಕ್ತ ಸಂಗವರ್ಜಿತ ನಿರ್ವೈರಸರ್ವೂತು ಯಸಮೇತಿ ಪಾಂಡವ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ ಇತಿ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಶತಸಾಹಸ್ರಿಕಾ ಸಂಹಿತಾಂ ವೈಯಾಸಿಕ್ಯಾಂ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭೀಷ್ಮಪರ್ವಣಿ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾಸು ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಿದ್ಯಾಂ ಯೋಗಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೆ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಜುನ ಸಂವಾದ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪದರ್ಶನ ಯೋಗೋ ನಾಮ ಏಕಾದಶೋಧ್ಯಾಯ ಅಥ ದ್ವಾದಶೋಧ್ಯಾಯ ಭಕ್ತಿಯೋಗ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಉಚ ಏವಂ ಸತತಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತ ಸ್ವಾಂ ಪರ್ಯುಪಾಸತೆ ಏ ಚಾಪ್ಯಕ್ಷರಮ್ಯಕ್ತ ಕೇಯೋಗ ಅಥಷೋಡಶೋಧ್ಯಾಯ ದೈವಾಸುರ ಸಂಪದ್ ವಿಭಾಗ ಯೋಗ ಬೆಲಾಜಿ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಚಾಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ ನಾನಜಿ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ಅಥ ಷೋಡಶೋಧ್ಯಾಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಉಚ ಅಭಯ ಸತ್ವ ಸಂಶುದ್ಧೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯೋಗ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿ ದಾನ ದಮಶ್ಚ ಯಜ್ಞಶ್ಚ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯಸ್ತಪ ಆರ್ಜವ ಅಹಿಂಸಾ ಸತ್ಯಮಕ್ರೋಧ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಶಾಂತಿರ ಪೈಶುನಂ 
दया भूतेश्वलो लुप्तम दया भूतेश्वलो लुप्तम मार्दवम रीरचापलम अहिम श्री भगवान उवाच अभयम सत्व संशुद्धिर ज्ञान योग व्यवस्थिति ही दानम दमश्च यज्ञश्च स्वाध्यायस्तप आर्जवम अहिंसा सत्यम क्रोध त्याग शांतिर पैशुनम दया भूतेश्वलो लुप्तवम मार्दवम हरीर चापलम तेज क्षमा द्रुति ही शौचम द्रोहो नाती मानिता भवंती संपदम दैविम अभिजातस्य भारत दंभो दर्पो अभिमान क्रोध पारुष्य मेवच अज्ञानम चाभिजात पार्थ संपदम आसुरी दैवी संपद्विमोक्षा निबंधाया सुरी मता मा शुच संपदम दैवीं अभिजा पांडवा द्वौ भूत सर्गौ लोके दैव आसूर एव दैवो विस्तरश प्रोक्त आसूर पार्थ मे शृणु प्रवृत्ति निवृत्ति जनान विदुरासुरा न शौचम नापिचाचारो न सत्यम तेषु विद्यते असत्यम प्रतिष्ठत लिटिल डाउन दृष्टिमस्टभ्य नष्टात्मा अल्पबुद्ध प्रभवुग्रक्रमाण क्षयाय जगत हिता काम आश्रित्य दुष्पूर दंभमानमदाता मोहा गृहवा सद्भा प्रवर्तंते शुचिव्रता हरिओं मोहात गृहत्वा असद्ग्रहान प्रवर्तन्ते अशुचिव्रता ओह सॉरी सम्यता यस यस नो प्रॉब्लम दैट्स दैट्स इनफ नाउ कैन यू प्लीज गो टू द सेकंड वर्स यस यस सेकंड वर्स प्लीज या जस्ट अ मिनट वर्स विद द प्रतिपदा दस आई विल आई विल शेयर जस्ट गिव मी टू मिनट्स ना नो नो प्रॉब्लम अभय सत्शुद्धि ज्ञान योग व्यवस्थि दान दमस्ट यज्ञ स्वाध्याय स्तप आज्यव अहिंसा सत्यम अक्रोध चागशातिरपैशुन दया भूतेषु अलोलुत्व मार्दव ह्री अचापल तेज क्षमा धुति शौच अद्रोहो नातिमानिता अहिंसाचमक्रोध चागशातिरपैशुन दया भूतेषु अलोलुत्व मार्दव Hrihi achapalam. Earlier we have picked up in the first verse what the sampad gunas, daivi sampad gunas, abhayam. 
ಸತ್ವ ಸಂಶುದ್ಧಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯೋಗ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿ ದಾನ ದಮಶ್ಚ ಯಜ್ಞಶ್ಚ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ತಪ ಆಧ್ಯವ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿಚ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಸೇ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೇ ಪ್ರಭೃಧೇ pure locals he will gain uttama vidam lokan uttama vidan people who know the higher truths and things like that amalan pratipajyate that is how whenever the sattva guna is the pradhana guna people end of their journey they will attain to uttama lokas and they will be amidst people who know a lot and from that they will pick up and when they when they take birth again they will have this daiva sampatti those noble qualities they will be born with see any guna is not all by itself it cannot stand by itself sattva guna cannot stand by itself it requires some kind of a prop either you or i or somebody else it will be it will be taking as do shelter behind that person so you you say he is a sattva guna pradhani you will you say he is a guna vihina he does not have any qualities at all durguna sampatti he he has got all kinds of dirty habits he has got durguna sampatti he these gunas require something to hold on to all by it, themselves they are not there they are simply not there they are only there as part of maya trigunatmika maya in that maya even there the trigunas are holding on to maya so when anybody takes birth they will they will attach themselves to that person so these are the daivi gunas which with which people are born abhayam sattva samshuddhi we have covered that now the second set of sadgunas ahimsa we have seen that ahimsa satyam akrodaha you see there are some gunas in this mentioned which are which are positive okay which are positive some are negative the negative things if you don't have you have got daivi guna the positive things if you have you have got daivi guna like this in the second line daya daya is a positive guna ahimsa is ahimsa is what himsa is injuring others ahimsa non injury so this is a kind of a negative thing not having himsa that is a sadguna not having the himsa pravrutti is a sadguna satyam satyam is a positive thing akrodaha krodaha is bad anger is bad akrodaha not having krodha so this is a negative indication not having krodha is a sadguna okay akrodaha tyagaha tyagaha is again positive shanti hi positive apaishunam <laughs> this is negative again apaishunam these negative things if you don't have you are you are great you are a sadguna sampanna ha daivi guna sampanna ha like that a number of them are there which are positive which are negative also the negative things you shall not have positive things you shall have that is the meaning ahimsa satyam akrodaha not having any anger 
not having the disposition to get angry at the drop of a coin, that kind of a thing. Akrodaha, ahimsa, satyam, akrodaha, tyagaha. Tyagaha is what? Earlier, Dhanam was mentioned in the first verse. Am I right? Abhayam, sattva samshuddhihi, jnana yoga vyavastitihi, Dhanam. Dhanam was mentioned. So this Chagaha may not be likened to just that Dhanam kind of a thing. Chagaha is what all you have, you can cheerfully give it away to others. Give it away. Renounce. You renounce Chagaha. What is not yours is not yours. After all, what are you born with? And what will you take along with you at the time of departure? Prayana kale manasa achalena. At that time, only the Sukshma Shridira will take away your samskaras and you cannot take anything else from this globe. So, with that kind of a bhavana, you keep on giving, keep on renouncing what all you have got. With that viveka, that is the chaga. Satyam akrodaha, chagaha, shantihi. Shanti, Shanti. How will you get Shanti? Mana Prasada Samyatvam. That is Shanti. You must have the mind with you. And it must, it must be very, very peaceful. And how will the mind be peaceful? When you have Shama Sampatti. Earlier, Dhamma was talked of. Dhanam Dhammascha Yajnascha in the first verse. Dhanam Dhammascha. That Dhamma is the Indriya Nigraha. Here, Shanti is. Shama is being talked of. Shanti hi apaishunam. Apaishunam. Paishunam means, you know, thinking ill of others. Apaishunam. Thinking ill of others. And also narrating the sadgunas of others. And you modify that into durgunas. And keep on, keep on, you know, addressing them to anybody you come across. That is Paishunam, Apaishunam, not having the tendency of talking ill of others. A number of verses Bhagavan has said, Pravakshyami Anasuyave, Idantute Guhyatamam, Pravakshyam Yanasuyave. This Secret of secrets, I am going to unfold to you, Arjuna, Pravakshami, Anasuyave. But you please listen without Asuya. Asuya is what? Finding fault where there is a Sadguna. Finding fault where there is a Sadguna. And this Durguna superimposition on what you have already seen as Sadguna, this will come because of inadequacy within yourself. You are not adequate within yourself. You don't have any self-esteem. And if you come across a person who is much better than you, you cannot stand that. When you cannot stand that, you will imagine some Durgunas and keep on talking about those Durgunas of that person who does not have any Durgunas. He is a Sadgun, Sadguna Sambhavaha. And that kind of a thing is Paishunam, Apaishunam, not having that tendency. Daya, Daya is what? Daya, everybody knows. Daya. Kindness. Compassion. Compassion. Yeah, compassion. Kindness. Yeah, Daya. Okay, Daya. Then, Daya amongst whom? Bhuteshu. Okay, Daya, Bhuteshu. Alo Luktvam. Alo Luktvam. Mardavam. Prihi. Achapalam. Daya Bhuteshu. Amongst the fellow beings, Bhuteshu includes all other living beings also. The animals, birds, the jalacharas, everything. That is, every living being, you must, be, you must have the, the compassion. If somebody is is in trouble, you must feel for it. And if you can, go help. That kind of a thing. That is daya. Simple having daya feeling and you, in spite of your 
having the ability to be of help to the others. If you don't, that is not a daya at all. That is, that is only that is only trying to satisfy yourself. It is of no use at all. It cannot help you grow yourself. Daya bhuteshu alo luptvam. Lo luptvam is what? Craving. Craving for everything. You are fully fed nicely. You have had your dinner. And somebody brings in a lot of, lot of food items. And they are very, very tasty. You know that they are very tasty. You have not yet tasted. But though you are full, you are up to your neck post-dinner, you feel like eating all those. That is low luptvam. Alo luptvam. Secondly, you having craved, craving for something which is not yours, number one. Which you can do without, number two. Number three, you already have enjoyed that kind of a thing. All these kind of things, if you keep on desiring those, that is lo luptvam, alo luptvam, daya bhuteshu, alo luptvam. That is petty mindedness. You don't have the breadth of mind. You don't have the vishala hrudaya to accommodate that something else may be useful to others. I've had my fill. I need not partake that. And somebody else may enjoy that. I will be very happy if somebody enjoys. That kind of a feeling is much better than craving for that. I, oh, I have had my dinner. Unnecessarily, I had dinner. I should have waited for this. This kind of a feeling is alo luptvam. Alo luptvam. You must develop alo luptvam. Daya bhuteshu alo luptvam mardavam. Mardavam is tenderness in your conduct, tenderness in your thoughts, tenderness in your talk. Okay? Manasa, vacha, karmana. Soft. Be soft all the time. Mardavam. Mardavam. And develop that as, as a noble quality. You will yourself will feel much, much better when you have these qualities. Mardavam. Prihi. Free is shyness. Shyness from what? Supposing you are about to do something wrong, you must have shyness. You must shy away from doing something wrong. You must feel ashamed that you have even thought of doing that. That kind of a thing is hrihi. Hrihi. Madhabam hrihi achapalam. Achapalam. The chapalam is not having the unnecessary, unnecessary display of avoidable things. Like, like you are in a group of people. Some two, three people are talking, elderly people. When they are talking, you would better develop the habit of listening properly. Instead, you keep on yapping, suppose. That is chapalam. You have got vak chapalam. Vak chapalam. You want to say something. You have got, you have got the tendency to as though appropriate the mic and keep on talking. That kind of a thing is chapalam. Or the other way around. Unnecessarily, you know, twisting your fingers and things like that when you're in a group of people. When somebody is giving you some information, Listen to that very carefully. Don't display your, you know, fingers and things like that and keep on shaking your legs and hands. That is also chapalam. Okay? The, these kind of things are avoidable. Rihi achapalam. The chapalam should not be there. Ahimsa, satyam, akrodaha, chagaha, shantihi, achapalam, dayabhuteshu, aloluktvam, Mardavam prihi achapalam. See here, ahimsa, absence of hurting, satyam, truthfulness, akrodaha, resolution of anger, not having the tendency to be angry, chagaha, renunciation, 
How will you avoid being angry? The second chapter of the Gita has told us very clearly. Jayato Vishayan Pumsaha Sangaha Teshu Upajayate. When you keep on thinking about objects, those Not objects. Yeah. Pardon? Not having attachment to the object. Yeah, yeah, correct. When you get when you get attachment, then then there is a desire born out of that sangaha, sangat sangyayate kamaha. And this kamaha, if it is not fulfilled, then it becomes krodaha. Sangat sangyayate kamaha. Then krodaha sambhavati. Krodhat bhavati sammoha, sammoha smriti vibramaha, smriti bhramsha buddhinashaha, buddhinasha pranashyati. It is the ladder of destruction, very nicely portrayed by Bhagavan. So that kind of thing happens. So you must avoid the tendency of being angry. On what are you being angry? You just, just do contemplation on the cause of the anger. The result of anger is what is coming from out of you. The cause of anger may be outside you, may be certainly outside you, but don't you worry about that. Understand that the cause should not upset you and make you angry. This kind of a debate within yourself will help you not to get angry. Right? A resolution of anger, chagaha, renunciation, shantihi, resolution of the mind, apaishunam, absence of calumny, slandering. Slandering is what? Apaish, slandering is unnecessarily talking ill of others. And about a third person, keep on talking bad about the second person who is really a good person. Bhuteshu, regarding living beings, daya, compassion. Alolupvam, absence of ardent longing. Alolupvam, mardavam, softness, tenderness. Hurihi, modesty. Okay? Modesty, okay. Achapalam, he, what I said, he is shying away from doing anything wrong. Okay? You must have. You must have, you must be ashamed of thinking ill and saying ill and doing ill. All these things that is hurihi, achapalam, absence of physical agitation. Then tejaha, kshama, dhruti, shaucham, adroho, na atimanita. These things. The second line says, bhavante sampadam daivim. Abhijatasya Bharata. This is what we have been talking of. You are born with this. It's not as though you are born with something else and you keep on developing this. Nothing wrong in that. But you are born with this. The seed of all these noble qualities you are born with. Like all of us, for a number of months we have been on this Zoom discussion of Bhagavan's Gita. So we have a kind of a disposition which is loving the, the Bhagavan's teaching. So that requires a noble quality. So you are born with that. And thanks to Bhagavan's Gita, we are trying to develop on that. Bhavanti Sampadam Daivim Abhijatasya Bharata. Daivim Abhijatasya Bharata. With Deva, Deva Guna. These people are born bhavanti sampadam daivim abhijatas at the time of birth. You are born with those. Thank God you are born with those. You are not born with other things. And these noble qualities are sattva guna pradhanaha. Sattva guna pradhana. Whoever has got sattva guna as the most impressive guna at the time of departure, he will. He will attain to Uttamalokan, Amalan Pratipajyate that we have seen. And from then on, he will pick up the threats and he'll be born with all these noble qualities. And continuing the noble qualities, 
Tejaha, brilliance. Kshama. Kshama is what? Composure. And Kshama also means the nature to forgive others' faults. Kshama, Dhruti. Dhruti is fortitude. Okay? We'll cover all this separately. Shaucham, 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 Vahya Abhyantara Shuchihi. Shaucham, Adroho. Earlier we said Ahimsa, isn't it? Ahimsa, not injuring others. Here, Adroho means this indicates you should not even have the thought of doing any himsa to others. Adroho, no droham. Okay? No injury to others. Manasa vacha karmana, that is important. Adroho, na atimanita. Na atimanita means we have covered this earlier. Atimanita, that is, you always have a tendency to be respected. Atimanita. Though you have a certain, certain quality, you have got good, but you want all others to praise you sky high, much beyond the qualities you have got. Na atimanita. This, this again, this is the negative. Na atimanita. You should not have that. That manita you should not have. Okay? Bhavanti sampadam daivim abhijatasya bharata. Tejaha brilliance. What kind of a brilliance is this? Is it the facial brilliance? Okay. The beauty, the, the pretty face or handsome face? No. It is this brilliance born out of the knowledge base that you are carrying. Tejaha. Tejaha, that brilliance. You are, you are wedded to the Shastra. You are wedded to the Guru Vakyas. You are wedded to Swajjaya. You are wedded to Pravachana. What little you have picked up through the Shastra, you very fearlessly and without any distortion, share it with equal vigor with like-minded people. That is brilliance. Tejaha, Kshama. Kshama is composure and the tendency to be forgiving the faults of others with the, with the uh, knowledge that it is likely that you will also be committing some faults which you expect others to please forgive me. That kind of a thing. That Kshama, Dhrutihi, fortitude. Fortitude is you must have dhairyam. You must have the fearlessness and you must have conviction that what you have chosen the path you have chosen in studying the Gita is going to be very, very beneficial to you. No matter what other obstacles you may face on the way, you shall not give this up. That is Dhruti. Dhruti. One. Secondly, supposing as you are progressing, you tend to get old. And when you tend to get old, there will be Shadirika Badhas. There will be problems given by the limbs of the body. And you should not mind that. It is okay. It is a nature of the body to be like this. Don't you worry. And you must tell yourself that. Go forward. You do something which will be an upashamanam for the, for the ailing limb of the body. Don't you worry. Because you are not the body. You are using the body for moksha samupadjanam. To that extent, you will, of course, try and protect the body as well as you can. That is also dhruti. Dhruti hi shaucham cleanliness. Cleanliness. In the, in the Sanjha Vandanam, there is a mantram. That mantram says, no matter what you are doing, in what condition you are, as long as you keep on Thinking about Pundari Kaksha, that then you can rest assured you are Bahya Abhyantara Shuchihi. Apavitro Pavitrova. Apavitro Pavitrova. Whether you are an Apavitra bodily wise, okay? Pavitrova. Cleansed body you have got. Sarva Avasthangatopiva. In whatever 
whatever avastha you may be, whatever avastha you may be, sarva avasthangato pava yasmaret pundari kaksham whoever thinks of pundari kaksha, the lotus eyed lord of yours, the deity, you can have the deity of your choice. Every deity is a pundari kaksha. That is how the our our shastras have venerated the Mahatmas who are the deities. Rama, Krishna, Shiva, Ganesha, Mother Parvati, anybody, anybody you think of, the deity is unimportant. Your, your attitude is important. In the deity, you are having the Parabrahma Darshana. Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma. That Darshana you are doing through your Ishta Devata, the deity chosen by you. Esmaret Pundari Kaksham Sabahya Abhyantara Shuchihi. That person <coughs> who thinks of Pundari Kaksha, he is considered to be externally and internally pure. Internally pure is what? The Antakarana is pure. Okay? Sabahya Abhyantar Shuchihi. The Shaucham cleanliness. Adroha. No thought of hurting. Himsa is actual, actual action of hurting. Here, no thought of hurting also. Na Atimanita. No exaggerated self-opinion. You don't think you are, you are Chandra, Indra, etc. You are a common person. You are a good citizen. That's all. Continue being that and to try to improve on that. Don't you keep on counting your positives. You think of your negatives and see how you can eliminate them. That is when this Atimanita can go away. Devim Sampadam. These are all the wells of Devas. Abhijatasya for the one who is born. Bhavanti Bharata happens here, Arjuna. Yeah, can I see the Tatparya, please? Yeah. Sri Bhagavan said, freedom from fear. I think all the three are together being covered here. Freedom from fear, Bhayam. Sattva Samshuddhi, purity of mind. Sattva Samshuddhi, purity of mind. And Abhayam Sattva Samshuddhi. Jnana Yoga Vyavastitihi, steadiness and contemplation. Jnana Yoga Vyavastitihi, Dhanam, charity. Dhamascha, judicious restraint of the sense organs. Dhanam, Dhamascha, Yajnascha, performing rituals. These are not the rituals that you need to perform with Kama as the important element. Okay, it must be for Loka Sangrahadham, Loka Hitardham, those rituals, performing rituals, Dhanam, Dhamascha, Yajnascha, Swadhyaya, recitation of one's own branch of the Veda, Swadhyaya. Here, this we may, we may alter it to our study of the Gita, study of any other good religious text of which you are interested in knowing some. Some truths, the recitation of one's own branch of Veda can be substituted by those things. Then, Swajjaya, Tapa, religious discipline, austerity. Adyabam, alignment of thought, word and deed. Okay? Adyabam, Ahimsa, absence of hurting. Ahimsa, Satyam, truthfulness. Akrodaha, resolution of anger. Then, Akrodaha, Chagaha, renunciation. Shantihi, resolution of the mind. Chaga, Shantihi. Um, uh, Apaishunam, yeah, absence of calumny. Absence of calumny. Daya Bhuteshu, Alolutvam, absence of ardent longing. Then Mardavam, Hurihi. Achapalam, absence of physical agitation. Tejaha. Tejaha. Then this composure is what? Kshama. 
Drutihi Shaujam Adroho No thought of hurting No atimanita No exaggerated self-opinion These are for the one Who is born to the wealth of Deva Sajjana And he is Said to have Daivi Guna Sampati One He is said to be the Sampat Purushaha of the Daiva Gunas. Each word here is a quality for the one who has cultivated or is born into the spiritual wealth. Daivam Sampadam Abhijatasya. Daivim Sampadam Abhijat. Each one of these has to be understood thoroughly. And why should we understand this thoroughly? To acquire those if we don't already have. I'm sure if not all of those noble qualities, all of us have got at least some qualities, some primal qualities. Otherwise, it is not possible to be, to be discussing the truths of Vedanta. It is simply not possible. We may not have, all of us may not have all the qualities, but most of them we must be having. And we must be very glad about that because we are born to the Daivi Sampada and it is our endeavor to keep on improving on that step by step, surely and successfully. Okay? Dambho datpo bhimanascha, krodha parushya mevacha, ajnanam chabhijatasya, pardha sampadam asurim. He has mentioned 26 noble qualities for the daivi sampada. And asura sampada, he is, he is making do with only six of these. Dambaha. Dambo, that pobhimanascha, krodha parushya mevacha, ajnanam chavitachascha, padha sampadam asurim. Hey, padha, asurim sampadam. Asuri is what? Asura is what? Negative sensual pleasure. Asusu, ramate iti asuraha. He is in Indriya Lolaha. He will cater to the demands of the sense organs only and all his pursuits will be to satisfy the Indriyas. That fellow is called an Asura. Asusu Ramate Iti Asuraha. Asurim Sampadam. The wealth of the Asuras. Abhijatasya for the one who is born. Again, these people are born into that kind of a set of gunas. And what are those gunas? Dambaha, hypocrisy. Hypocrisy with reference to dharma. Okay? He does not know anything about dharma. What is good? What is bad? What is punyam? What is papam? What he ought to do? What he should avoid doing? None of these he knows. But he will paint himself as though he knows everything. Dambaha, darpaha, pride. Okay? Misplaced pride. Though he is only, only that much, he will he will pride himself that he is a sky high purusha, that paha. Then, atimanaha cha, okay? Atimanaha cha, tendency to, he keeps on expecting others to respect him. Why should anybody respect you at all? If you have your own self-respect. Is that not adequate? If you have grown to such a high stature that others should respect you, without your asking, they will respect you. That is good enough. Then why do you have to have this atimanaha demanding respect from others? Krodaha, anger. Earlier, earlier in the Daivi Sampati, Akrodho was mentioned. Here, that I is removed Krodaha. Okay? Okay? Parushyam evacha. Parushyam evacha. Parushyam is, he, he, is, he is, together with that pride, he has got the Parushyam. Parushyam is, how can he say that to me? Am I not, am I not the lord of this area. How can he insult me like that? That kind of a thing. Paurusham evacha. 
ओके ही इज वेरी वेरी हार्श टू एवरीबडी अज्ञानम अज्ञानम इज नॉट ओनली आत्मा अनात्मा विवेकहीन अज्ञानम ही डज नॉट नो वाट ही हेज टू डू वाट ही शुड एवॉइड ऑल्सो ही डज नॉट नो वी हेव सीन दैट इन द फोर्टींथ चैप्टर दीज असुर गुणास आर ड्रिवेन बै रजो गुण एंड तमो गुण and this the rajoguna rajoguna is what pravritti tamoguna is what agnyanam does not know what is needed what is to be avoided what is to be done none of these agnyanam cha bijatasya padha sampadam asuri arjuna the one who is born to the wealth of asura has hypocrisy with reference to dharma pride a tendency to demand respect anger harshness and indeed lack of discrimination okay and continuing bhagwan says daivi sampad vimokshaya nibandhaya suri mata ma suchas sampadam daivim abijato si pandava this daivi sampada and asura sampada what do they do daivi sampad vimokshaya this daivi sampatti this assemblage is all those 26 noble qualities which belong to the daivi sampatti that what does it do vimokshaya for freedom freedom from this janana marana samsara pravaham vimokshaya daivi sampat vimokshaya it is it is leading to moksha vimokshaya nibandhay asuri mata this asura sampatti it further binds you nibandhay asuri mata ha mata ha means that's my opinion okay ma sucha ha e adyuna don't you worry ma sucha ha sampadam daivi abhijato si pandava he pandava he adyuna you are born to the daiva gunas all those 26 noble qualities you have got you have got you have acquired the time of birth you have acquired the time of birth and prior to that you led a noble life you are a sattva guna pradhani that is how you are born to this daivi gunas spiritual wealth is considered to be for freedom the wealth of nasura for bondage hey arjuna do not grieve ma suchaha arjuna you are born to the spiritual wealth ma sucha sampadam daivi abhijato si pandava arjuna must have been thinking where does he belong is he there or is he here or he has got part of this part of that then bhagwan krishna allayed his fears and said hey rest assured don't you grieve you are born to the daivi gunas that is how you are able to listen to my teaching of the geeta shastra otherwise it is not possible right okay hari om everybody we will continue tomorrow om sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kaschid dukkha bhag bhavet ओम शांति 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 हे हरि ओम धन्यवाद नाना जी धन्यवाद हरि ओम बाय बाय थैंक यू हरि ओम जय गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव हरिओम ओ सहना सहनो भुन सह वीर करवाहरी तेजस्वीनावदितमस्तु मा विषा वह
शांति 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 टुडे वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एनी वन वुड लाइक टू सम अप प्लीज so today he we reviewed again the divine qualities like about 26 of them and then the asura gunas what six actually seven i wrote it down so seven of them so this deva gunas is for freedom and whereas the asura gunas for the the qualities is for bondage thus bhagavan says that arjuna has the divine qualities so that there it is we we debuted half of it yesterday right and then today we probably can go over the shloka and then review it again yeah from second shloka would you like to read the uh, second verse we will go right first we already did, did no yesterday yeah yeah i mean anybody wants to do that that's fine i do shila ji or madhuri ji or mrinal ji anyone can help in just reading shloka or dr maharaj ji can continue if you can continue maharaj ji it's fine sure yeah, i can I will, read the, I, I the, the yeah i can read the pradipadartha and the shloka you know. things i will read the uh, english thing a uh, sanskrit thing <coughs> second uh, shloka no yeah do the shloka ahimsa 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 satya <coughs> अहिंसा सत्यम क्रोध स्याद शांति पैशुन दयाभूतेश्वलोलुस्वूतेश्वलोलुस्वधव रीरचापल अहिंसा मीन एबसेंस ऑफ हर्टिंग सत्यम इज truthfulness akrodha is resolution of anger tyaga is renunciation shanti is resolution of the mind apaishunam is absence of kalun kalumni slandering bhuteshu bhuteshu is with regard to living beings daya is compassion alolupatvam absence of ardent longing <clears throat> mardavam softness reen modesty achapalam is absence of physical agitation then tejah kshama druti shaucham अद्रोह नातिमानिता संपदम दैवीं अभिजात भारत नेक्स्ट प्लीज एनीबडी वांट्स टू शेयर ऑन दीज क्वालिटीज सम एक्सप्लेनेशन और समथिंग हैज कम अप इन अवर लाइफ वी कैन शेयर इट तेजह क्षमा ध्रुति सो तेज इज ब्रिलियंस क्षमा इज कंपोजर ध्रुति इज फॉर्टिट्यूड एंड शौचम इज क्लीनलीनेस अद्रोह इज नो थॉट ऑफ हर्टिंग अति न अति मानिता इज नॉट एक्जरेटेड सेल्फ ओपिनियन दैवी संपदम is the wealth of devas 
Abhijatasya is for the one who is born. Bhavanti. Bhavanti is are there Bharata or oh, Arjuna Bharata. I think uh, we are 12 people, so each one can uh, take one uh, quality and we can just have an explanation, please. We can start with Ahinsa, Satyam, Akrodha, these all tendencies we can talk of, please. Ahinsa, Ahinsa yeah. is not hurting anyone in any form, maybe by words or by actions, even on the level of thought. And all, we are born with all these qualities. The seeds of all these qualities is there when we are born. Thank you. Yeah, that's very beautiful. Satyam, anyone would like to share? Satyam. It is like yesterday, uh, uh, Nanaji had explained very well with that Rishi's example, uh, how to say Satyam Priyam as well, right? Truthfulness with sweetness. Yeah, Akrodha, resolution of anger. Anyone would like to share about the resolution of anger? Tyaga, renunciation. Tyaga, Nanaji had said very beautifully. Anyone remembered uh, what he said for Tyaga? Getting, I mean, uh, becoming free of our uh, possessions, right? And we, it is not just the charity. We try to get rid of all our, um, um, whatever we have, we are contented with whatever we have and we feel happy to give away the things which others also need. Yeah, giving away happily is important, right, eh, Intyaga? Yes, exactly. Have giving happily, joyfully, not out of uh, some force or out of some um, compulsion. It should be you are happily, joyfully giving whatever things you have. I think Even here, like a mother, uh, sorry. No, no, you continue. Just uh, uh, had a thought. Even like a mother wakes up at night when the child is small, like she's happy to give away her sleep for the child. Will it come into this uh, category? Yeah, that's very beautiful. Yeah, wonderful. I think so that sharing I think is the divine quality we are born with because see the children, uh, they have the natural tendency to whatever if they get, they want to share it with uh, uh, others also. But then slowly mother only tells something like we inculcate that possessive uh, nature in the children and then uh, how much we can really catch hold of what tendency for Bharte Jati. Here uh, on this path, we really need to be a little bit careful. Even in the mind, uh, let me grab this, that, that tendency. Or some people naturally, if they get something, they have the tendency to really distribute it amongst everybody. We can find it even when we go for any picnic or anywhere. You will find one or the other person who is continuously sharing everything, caring for everybody's needs and everything. And some of them are, they just want to grab for themselves. So uh, distinctly when we think about it, 
then it becomes easy for us to develop this divine quality more and more in, uh, in us sometimes maybe when we are doing so much uh, uh, sadhana seva satsang it uh, definitely increases but with more understanding it will get more established and we will restrain ourselves from grabbing and holding of the so many positions that's what i feel and that is why this manana is very important what do you all say jai guru dev yeah, yeah yeah it's really beautiful yeah and mother has that uh, capacity to inculcate right from the childhood you know yes i have also observed there are some i mean uh, it is some people have that tendency natural tendency to give the things and uh, uh, swami ji has very beautifully mentioned in uh, this uh, bhagavad gita also with, with good example that right from this when they are small children you are making it your your bag your breakfast your dinner your lunch your toys i mean we are so much binding them with that uh, your possession so from childhood uh, when they are born they are pure but as they grow up we only tend to make them possessive about their things about their um, emotions and everything so yeah very beautiful it is uh, very important to inculcate this from the childhood <laughs> definitely we need to <coughs> uh, keep in mind uh, such things we really need to work out uh, carefully from childhood itself that how the next uh, means how the society we want so this uh, narrow mindedness is seeping in more and more in last uh, 15 20 years as the families are becoming more nuclear and it's a serious thing we need to uh, ponder over it and yeah. in our life also yeah yeah please say na no no in our lives personal lives also in family lives also this sharing thing and uh, possessing the things we really need to uh, implement it in lives our lives and in children's lives jai guru yeah guru dev has made very beautiful samskar kendra for children for inculcating all these values these beautiful values which are now as you said no they are getting depleted because we ourselves are putting me and mine into the children so this sanskar kendra encourages sharing all these divine qualities you know um, at that small age 6 to you know 10 years so that it gets again ingrained yes the direction is given it's very very beautiful yeah that's why this tyaga word it's so beautiful you know even you see for uh, uh, like inheritance also brothers fight and i mean it is so deep meaning it has the word tyaga it has so much uh, depth in it so i i i, I it's a very, very nice quality please uh, others also please share your opinion and uh, then akrodha there are other good qualities also शांति ही अपैशुनम दिस अहिंसा थिंग आल्सो वी नीड टू पॉन्डर एंड डिस्कस अबाउट इट इट्स नॉट जस्ट दैट फिजिकल वायलेंस मे बी ऑल ऑफ अस वी आर आउट ऑफ इट बट इन अवर माइंड्स आल्सो व्हेन द डायलॉग्स आर ऑन या दैट वाज वेरी वी मेंशन राइट द द नेक्स्ट a verse has that word called adro uh, what is it adro adro the arjuna Ad, adro the adro the ha is the no thought of hurting that that not even thought of hurting and ahimsa is absence of hurting so that's that word is there you know the uh, where is that tejaha yeah i put i put the second adroha correct correct maharaj uh, yeah no thought uh, of saucham yeah saucham and then the adroha adroha droha yeah so that that is no thought of hurting so basically you know uh, when nana said that um, 
by manas like which is mind walk and karma so all of these three things you know uh, it may be applies for most of the things that uh, which you shouldn't be doing like why that that you're not thinking about in your mind or saying it by words or doing uh, anything act acting you know that that uh, would be something uh, we should avoid and that is a couple of you know few of those like uh, negative uh, version of it so that uh, but most of them were positive uh, positive aspect like we talked about so when you say ahimsa of course yeah not even uh, living any living thing right like even non living things also sometimes we may have to think about not wasting the food and things like that are also very important the akrodaha is you know where we read that before uh, in the second chapter i think was nice flow chart when we read the swamiji's um, information uh, thought about it like the attachment causes the desire uh, with me first desire and then you attach to it and then if you are not able to fulfill that desire then you get angry and frustrated and then you destroy yourself that that you know people destroy themselves because of that that you can get to the destruction of the person so that anger is uh, one of them is not not a good thing Yeah, that's very wonderful you shared, Maharaj. Very nice. Are we all clear about a paishunam as Nana Ji? Anyone would like to focus a, a little more descriptive what it includes? we can quickly go through the this all asuri qualities and the way nana ji defined asura is so well the one who is always busy in uh, i mean engaged with his sensory pleasures isn't mm -hmm. it very um, uh, without discrimination without discrimination or viveka uh, no viveka buddhi yeah. he is just busy in enjoying the sensual yeah. pleasures whether it is For food or for material or for anything. The upper sunam is a couple of ways he mentioned it. Like one is uh, not not you're not even thinking about ill of other people. That pai sunam is thinking of ill of others or talking. bad about the third I mean second person or like somebody who two people are talking and then they talk about the other person bad uh about that other person that's that's called paisana but then a paisana is not to do this or talk about bad about the others or think ill of others yeah that is so beautiful no mm. not to talk bad about others but finding faults in others like the talking negatively too you know like even though they have negative aspects like you don't want to go oh, eat that person, this person you know mm. Uh, excuse me i'm just mute sorry to interrupt i'm muting all you can unmute and talk please okay i'm muting all you can unmute and talk please yeah please go ahead sorry to interrupt are you able to unmute hello Yes, yes, we can. Yes. Yeah, please unmute and then talk. Uh, 
tejah that is the brilliance uh, how this divine quality uh, and little bit explanation can somebody give yeah brilliance ja nana ji said it's not the physical attribute or the physical beauty of a person it is the teja of the gnana the knowledge because of which he is a brill the brilliance what he has achieved through the gnana krishna okay. buddhi single minded focused jo hai usko tej uh, uh, explain kiya nana ji ne he explained as that brilliance Druti is still not that very clear. Yeah, Druti is dhairya, dhairya, the patience. Okay. Yeah, we need. I mean, uh, it's very beautiful quality, no? For patience. Uh, even in vigyan bhairav gurudev had also talked a lot about uh, this quality dhairyam dhruti anyone would like uh, to share very beautiful quality dhruti is uh, you have you have that quality of perseverance of the task you have taken in your hands like you are reading gita so uh, you you Uh, perceive you have that perseverance feeling that i will continue with it whatever uh, obstacles will come i will not uh, give in to it give in to them and i will uh, follow my uh, classes and that is triti you have the strong will and perseverance feeling uh, to continue for the positive uh, for the positive uh, or the for the good uh, thing to achieve something yeah Eric, this is a better this thing i think dhairya is patience but this uh, is dhruti is this is the right way savita ji has explained because once uh, i was in uh, uh, in one of the satsangs there they explained it in a way ki uh see in the society or in our own group if we are organizing something big or something then the leader always sees ki kiska kitna capacity hai it's the dhruti uh, which uh, everybody is testing is different level of dhruti so according to that the leader gives the responsibility <laughs> uh we know kuch bhi unko denge they will say yes 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 i will do it don't worry and then you will find that they are giving 100 reasons and some people for sure they have that dhruti to really hold that uh, till the end and complete it properly their capacity their dhruti is very high i think so we need to ponder on this word because it's a sanskrit word so it uh, it uh, it has no equivalent exact uh, meaning in english but this example was given in the satsang that uh, capacity to hold for a period of time and complete the task what uh, savita ji said just now no we really need to and this we need to develop this quality with our sadhana tapasya and shamadama all the uh, four qual that six qualities wealth jay kurute uh bela ji nunal ji please explain further no please yeah it's very well explained by savita ji and you both very true that some people they do not say anything uh, when you give the deputy them the task but then when you at on the final day you will see that he had they have all excuses for not doing the thing and jay guru dev sometimes what happens even if they are doing seva or their work sometimes you know by doing it their capacity also increases and then they do more more and then they reach that high level of their seva that's what how to inculcate and increase the dhruti for that uh, it's very important uh, quality 
it really helps uh, for spiritual growth savita ji please explain it actually uh, for for uh, having the dhruti quality uh, you have to have uh, you have to give your uh, you, you try to give your 100% and it is very difficult to maintain that quality because many times your senses uh, uh, sense objects or your other uh, involvements in other things they they try to deter you from that uh, task or or to follow that dhriti so that you uh, you uh, are not able to continue with, with 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 what you have committed previously so it's a it's i think it's a it's the quality which you have to again and again reinforce on yourself so that you complete the task which you have taken it's not that only one day you have this it's a quality which you have to ingrain in yourself uh, then only you will uh, uh, be able to uh, achieve this quality of dhriti like if a person is in to a marathon it takes a one one year practice to run a 42 kilometers or 21 kilometers so that we has to have that dhriti that you have to get up in the morning you have to uh, practice you have to run you have to do exercises only then he can achieve and uh, uh, he can run in a quality time of period which is normally it is there that uh, you have to complete in a particular time that is uh, they they have mentioned in like anything in it, it's in any activity like you are we are studying gita so you have to have a dhriti that i will have i will study one chapter whole i will decide one chapter daily so that again need the dhriti so it's it's in every activity is whole day with whatever task you are doing daily on daily basis whatever activities are being done on the daily basis for completing them you have to have the dhriti quality only then will you be able to complete it this is my understanding yeah that's very wonderful we can uh, talk about it uh, then uh, then other qualities as well daya alolukthvam mardavam rihi they all are very beautiful again the very the quality i mean the qualities which are negative but we need to contemplate isn't it alolukthvam daya is positive किलोमीटर आई डेड हाफ मैरेथन and i wasn't sure that i will be able to run but uh, it's only the daily practices and your will power and to uh, uh, have this thought that i if so many people are doing i can also do it so it, it that force used to uh, force me to do uh, get up in the morning for 4 4:30 and i used to just go to my stadium i reach stadium very early and i finished my half marathon in 2 uh, hours 17 minutes and you won't believe it that i i had fever one night before and i was thinking how will i do it but i had that that i practice whole one year then why should i leave it just because of my fever as nana ji said that the you don't have to look for your body you would have that will power and you will do it 
so i had fever uh, the just night before the marathon and i took an antibiotic and an ek one analgesic and i i uh, surrendered to god i uh, i just said uh, i don't know what will happen but i will do and you won't believe i uh, was fine in the morning i like i i had to get up at 3 o'clock to reach delhi and uh, the the marathon started and i i ran non stop i didn't even stop for a second like it was continuous i don't know what from where that force was coming but i ran continuously non stop with the same pace 7 to 8 and i completed in 2 uh, hours 17 minutes and was i i was myself also a very uh, surprised and very thankful to god that at least i completed so uh, the example i was giving was just for my self which i experienced brilliant it's very nice <coughs> brilliant really nice Wonderful. and it will and i'm not that age like i'm uh, when i ran i was uh, i was 50 uh, 52 years old at the time it's been 3 years now so that is i think that is the that is the dhriti quality which took me uh, to complete all this and it and when you practice the dhriti when you practice again and again as someone initially also said that it gets stronger and stronger in everything whichever you catch hold of like i will do this thing then uh, you make it 100% and your efforts are 100% and you complete it so it's uh, it it get it's it gets more and more stronger and stronger as you start uh, following one activity after other like this so beautiful isn't it because this is going to reflect in every aspect of our life whatever we are doing day to day work in the family in the workplace or in social uh, activities or in seva everywhere yes. this will reflect because yeah. you have uh, suddenly you have increased your druti uh, to a level from where yes. all the things which you will be doing uh, the quality of it also will change and you are uh, in our uh, this thing has strengthened so much because you have built it over whole one year no every day yeah see uh, getting up in the morning that challenge also you have overcome just by one this thing that every day i have to run your yeah. physical strength your eating habits your sleeping patterns just one sankalpa and you have covered so many things yeah <laughs> it was a, it was literally a tap for me and i just had this thought that at least one i i was into running but i never ran marathon i just had a thought that i should try at least once before leaving my body <laughs> so it was just a challenge for me and i took it and same i it happened with the geeta chapters i started the geeta chapters i thought i how would i learn these chapters Uh, then again it that that dhriti quality came up and i started learning and reciting and gave exams like it's it's still it's going on but i think the this 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 dhriti quality helps you in achieving all your goals in life either spiritual or uh, like either socially or professionally any even the even the activities in home which are like you are struggling with your children or with something else in the family this dhriti quality helps you uh, maintain your inner peace and your strength also i experienced this uh, like on physical level also and mental level also your eaten eating habits also must have changed Yeah, it 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 it's totally changed because I don't like the smell of the onions, garlic, and 
uh, I can't uh, it, like I can't just take any uh, tamasic uh, thing into my body. It, I it just like it's, it's a repulsive thing for me. It's been many years since I have stopped eating onions, etc. My body doesn't demand for it now. Like rather, it it it's more of a, uh, you say like I found it foul smelling rather. This can uh, be example for all of us. Pardon. This is the uh, this example is the inspiration for all of us to take up something for a long period of time and see myself I'm struggling uh, to get up in the morning and do that uh, Brahma Murta Sadhana. I have not uh, up till now achieved it. Uh, so with this mm -hmm. one Sankalpa you have covered so many things. Yeah, <clears throat> you just have to force for uh, at least 30 days. You know when I first did my Art of Living uh, course, basic course uh, it's been 15 years then it was winter time and here the Delhi side, it's very foggy during that time. So one sentence my teacher told me that if you want to continue your, uh, uh, this uh, Sudarshan Kriya regularly, you have to come 40 days nonstop into the center because every day that time, the basic uh, happiness, the basic Kriya was, short Kriya was done and only on the Sundays the long Kriya. But uh, I took that sentence as a challenge for myself and you would, you would not believe it, it was so foggy. I used to drive very slowly and just when my teacher reached just five minutes before or after I, I would reach him that center and he was also saying that it's like it just heads off to you that you are coming from and I used to travel 10 kilometers from the center in fog. So uh, it was like uh, it was like it, it, uh, something small, small things started happening, and uh, that only uh, uh, made made this dirty quality stronger. It was great, Doctor Savita, your for your persistence and you attain your goal. That's great. Yeah, I, I can, uh, 40 days I <laughs> continuously did and then after every uh, follow-up like Sundays I used to go uh, yeah. until unless this COVID game this made all things yeah, really nice. you know, that's inspiration I probably missed some of it because our night you know it's getting late for me to, for my dinner but um, what did you say you were kind of trained for running or something I, I missed that part yeah. Yeah, I, actually, I, I I was an athlete in my childhood and college, so that uh, that passion for running and games was still there. So as my like uh, as the aging started, so I thought it's better that I do some uh, running and some physical. So I used to go to stadium every day. So people were preparing for marathons there. So I thought, why should I not prepare for marathon? So I. Uh, I gave one year to that and uh, whole one year it was a dedication for me to get up in the morning at 4, 4.30 and reaching stadium at 5.30, 5.15 and one, one and a half hour practice and I used to come back. So it was for practice for 21 kilometers and when the event came, I had fever one night before. Mm. So I so, uh, so much in a this thing, uh, so low feeling I was having. Then I just surrendered to God that mm -hmm. I have practiced for one year. I would not let it go this way just because I am having fever. I just took a medicine, analgesic, and precautionary. Uh, slight throat was uh, paining, so I took an antibiotic and uh, one analgesic, and I uh, got up in the slept two three hours, and I got up at three o'clock reached Delhi, then it started 5.30 and uh, it was like it, I ran non-stop without uh, breaking for a second also. It, it was, I, I, I don't know from where that force was coming. I was just running involuntarily 
and I finished in two hours seventeen minutes. And uh, I was good control of the man. Yeah, say it. Yeah, you already have all the qualities now. <laughs> yeah, very inspiring. You should write this, Savita ji. Kindly write and publish it. It is so inspiring for everyone. I mean, especially uh, you know, like I, I, I myself. Just, yeah. Oh, that's why uh, I, I feel a bit a bit uh, uh, i think i am boasting i i have that feeling i am very hesitating in uh, uh, speaking and participating it's only... no no it is really nice because uh, like myself you know i wanted to do these things like i my sharing is actually you know i am not consistent that is my problem you know like i am able to do it for some time and then i have something comes up then that priority changes so how do we keep our I, you know, what our... i did was that i used to surrender it to god first thing was, which always came to my mind ki, i don't know i have to do this please help me god that i achieve this uh, surrender feeling was there so yeah uh, it helped me a lot some, some force was there otherwise it was it was not uh, like uh, every time i if i uh, yeah you have the challenge i just wonder ourselves uh, there will be some effort from us also had to be there right i mean that effort is where uh, i i think what i, what I, I want sachi to do see just now we are going through all the uh, divine Uh, and demonic uh, qualities so here uh, in perspective of this shloka and in perspective of bhagavad gita from spiritual angle uh, if you write uh, means mentioning these these qualities how uh, they means just one sankalpa and how these uh, qualities blossom and how demonic uh, things diminished in that perspective if you write this example no savita ji Uh, uh, this will be of great help so uh, i think you understood what i am saying yeah yeah, yeah. in perspective of these qualities how this the meaning of dhruti is getting elaborated meaning of uh, so many things yeah. are getting elaborated so uh, discipline or uh, shaucha and whatever it is so uh, please from the perspective of uh, spiritual uh, growth spiritual yeah. understanding is right with this example no with every uh, quality you take it up and how this uh, just one sankalpa of uh, marathon and yeah. how you uh, that will help us more just uh, narrating the story and with uh, keeping these uh, shlokas in the mind uh, it will okay. give a total different uh, uh, dimension don't you think so yeah please Is only that presentation. Very true. <laughs> yeah, you started with the WhatsApp. In our WhatsApp group, you write up the small write up. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. Just in, in uh, yes, understanding. I'll the, I'll write in brief. Yeah. Yeah, the divine qualities with that perspective, yeah. and then yeah, slowly you can the in uh, details that afterwards in whichever direction you want to. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, very inspiring, uh, Savita ji. You have inspired us all. All. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are an epitome of example. What Bhagwan is saying, no complete surrender and letting go of doership. Yeah, surrender. Uh, surrender helped me in many many fields. Whatever the family problems relating to children or other things are there. i just surrender to him and i just uh, do what i have what i can do otherwise i just surrender the situation and everything to him and it is much better taken care of than what i what i can or what like you have to remove the i part that i will do this for him i will do this for that person it's because you are nothing you you it's already decided it is predestined what is to be uh, happen after whatever is to be happen is to happen so you 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 remove the i part 
and you just surrender to him that it's up to you this is the situation what my part is i i am doing what you can help me out please help me is 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 this way only that i have uh, uh this my journey of everything even in with patients also you know very many times it happened that the patient uh, like i i am a gynecologist so it's many time that the patient had pph like it's excessive bleeding just after the delivery of a baby or the baby gets serious maybe uh, a few times so i just remember before entering my labor room i i just say that it's you who are doing i am not doing anything please take care of this patient and whenever emergency happens i just uh, have this his name in my mind and i keep on doing whatever is to be done and it's like uh, you go in different mode of thinking once you know one one patient uh, when as as the baby delivered uh, the inversion of uterus happened it was like i have i never i have never seen the inversion of uterus and i i, I just have read it uh, this thing ki how it occurs i did not know when when the baby delivered i uh, it was just like the with placenta the uterus inversion started and i i just had a spark in my mind the thought this is inversion uterus i don't know from where it got <laughs> like it was uh, it could i could have thought that it is nothing but i in as soon as it happened i gave a thought that it is inversion uterus happening and i just uh, remained pushed my hand inside and it, uh, like i uh, with a fist in my uh, make a fist and you have to push it so that uterus doesn't inverse so it was many times in my emergencies i have these thoughts that okay this is the thing then you try and manage and you get the helps also you have you uh, some forces are there to guide and help you this i have experienced uh, many a times many a times it happened you are open uh, so, you have surrendered yourself and you are open to listen to the intuitive powers or uh, yeah. instruction from uh, other realms also that is why you are guided in that yeah just a thought comes and i don't know uh, i don't relate it much but uh, but the thought uh, every time when any emergency happens this thought is there that this is happening uh, then you you start functioning to manage in that way but uh, touch wood like i have never lost a patient in any of my cases and it was uh, just a blessing of the god that has been there and i have very strong faith that whatever problem you have in your life just surrender it to him and he will take care of like you surrender to guru ji the same way uh, you guru ji or god it's the same thing you just surrender Yes. when we remove the i part that is uh, the, the i you have to remove the i because you cannot do anything you have strengthened our uh, faith that's so wonderful today you made our day very nice well i mean the way you have shared it is very beautiful thank you for sharing savita ji welcome welcome i would be very happy to see that all of us take small small at least some sankalpa and uh, use that to increase our gruti one sankalpa one sankalpa i said I, i'll just tell you do you, you just like when you recite one chapter daily it it will uh, this will connect you to the god and it will help you to make you more and more stronger i have felt this Uh, when i was doing my geeta classes it was uh, like if you are always in that uh, air always whole day you are in that just like we are in the geeta class this this aura is whole day with us similarly when you chant the chapters or the shlokas 
that also makes your aura more of positive and you are uh, in a different mood whole day. Okay. This is a very good challenge you can take because it will help you a lot. One chapter daily reciting. This uh, Sankalpa, all of us, we can take, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very, what? like Nanaji recite daily. So that chapter you can decide on your own. And you uh, you try and enroll in any of the Gita class. It will uh, help you uh, easily recite. Um, it will not take many uh, much time. Only a month or so you will easily follow because Nanaji has explained it quite a lot many times. The shloka has been repeating every time. So when you will start your classes, it will be much easier for you uh, to uh, just uh, pick it up easily. Sure, I will do that. I think we all should do it. That would be nice. And review it as a part of it. You know, like there was um, actually Nana was asking, we are supposed to uh, read one sloka and explain, you know, understanding it correctly. Um, we were doing it and then we missed it in the middle and and then um, and then of course the, the Dr. Bremer is going to ask Nana again whether we're going to do that in his class but then we kind of all uh, <clears throat> that also would that really also help some help 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 yeah. very, very nice we really like yeah I mean yeah. that uh, that really nice I mean I I, I do little, little different things. And so, I mean, everybody, I mean, part of it is the Gita, you know, to understand Gita is very important. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, that's true. Uh, uh, anyone would like to continue uh, chanting because I'm unable to, uh, I in between, I'm just trying to hold. Uh, we were in verse two, right? Yeah. We complete third, no? So we, uh, okay. That's so it is fourth now, right? And I can, we can read just... the the last the, the thing for you. Okay. Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Sri Bhagavan said, "Freedom from fear, purity of mind, steadiness in contemplation, charity, judicious restraint." Performing rituals, recitation, recitation of one's own branch of the Veda, religious discipline, austerity, alignment of thought, word and deed. So this is where that uh, the way he was said, alignment of thought, word and deed, absence of hurting, truthfulness, resolution of anger, renunciation. Resolution of the mind, absence of calumny and compassion for living beings, absence of ardent longing, softness, modesty, absence of physical agitation, brilliance, composure, fortitude, cleanliness, no thought of hurting, and no exaggerated self-opinion or there for the one who is born to the wealth of devas, Arjuna. Each word here is a quality for the one who has cultivated or is born into the spiritual wealth. Devim Sampadam Abhijatasya. Each one of these has to be understood thoroughly, which is very true. So the, uh, the verse number four, you want to go? Or <clears throat> Somebody want to chant the sloka, then I can read it if you want. Dambo darpo, dambo darpo me, sorry. Tambo darpo ti manascha, krota parusha mevacha, agyanam chati jatasya, partha partha sampada sampada masurim. 
shall I recite again? You want to do it again? Yeah, it, the message came in between it covered the, the shloka. Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Dambo darpoti Dambo darpoti manascha Krodha parusha mevacha Agyanam chapi chatasya Partha sampada masurin Carry on. Okay. Partha, O Partha, Asurim sampadam to the wealth of an Asura Abhijatasya. Jatasya for one for the one who is born. Dampaha hypocrisy with reference to dharma. Darpa pride. Atimanaha Adimanahacha tendency to demand respect. Krodaha anger. Parusyam ivacha. And indeed harshness. Anyanam cha. And the lack of discrimination, Santi, lack of discrimination, Santi, there are. So Arjuna, the one who is born to the wealth of an Asura, has a hypocrisy with reference to Dharma, pride, a tendency to demand respect, anger, harshness, and indeed lack of discrimination. You know, when we talk about this Asura that I re remember about this Hiraneka Sibu and uh, Raklata story, it fits in all this hypocrisy about pride to tendency, demand respect, you know, where he wants to be, his name is to be pronounced. And he gets angry if he doesn't say, uh, oh, Hiraneka Sibu or whatever, and then that lack of discrimination. So he was toiling or uh, tormenting Praklata. That's Asura. Okay. Uh, uh, please continue your sharing. My phone is charging, so it is in the other room and I am in the kitchen. So kindly share, please. Okay. Please continue sharing. It's very beautifully going on. But the, that's almost that until fourth verse only he did, right? Yeah. So uh, if any, uh, anyone would, would, would like to share more or we can uh, just call it a day. Then uh, one of you can please say the Shanti Mantra and we can end the Manana session, please. Like Savita, if somebody wants to share the any example for any of these qualities, uh, either demonic or uh, the divine. So the example really, uh, the moment we share it, uh, the, it the, the, these uh, shlokas get established into our this thing. So very important it is. If anybody wants to share a small thing, even if it is something demonic kind of, how you are working, that will help all of us. So please, please share. Anybody? We are 11 people over here. Okay, I will chant the Shanti Mantra then. <coughs> Om Sahanavatu Sahanobunaktu Saviryam Karavahari Tejas Vinavadi Tamastu Mavid Vishavahari Om Shanti 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 Hari Om. Hari Om. to every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Savitadi. Thank you.